Okay, adding animation effects is basically something we can do to a, any object on the screen and it will show how that object either enters the screen, exits the screen or something called emphasis which makes it do something on the screen. So here you can see I've got um, three slides, I've got a photograph in each slide but my, what I might want to do is this photograph here of my daughter, maybe I want to get this to, to come in or, or appear in some way rather than just be on the slide. So what I can do is I can go to the animations tab on the animations tab now, there's nothing highlighted up at the moment. Um, I can open up my animation pane. You can see there's no animations attached to this slide. However, if I click on the photograph now, you see that these things start to light up. That's saying now that I can do things to this object. What I want to do is I want to add an animation. So I'm going to go over here to the plus animation. And you can see here I can, I can do entrance, emphasis, or exit. So at the moment, I want an appear one. So I'm going to say I want it to fly in. So this is going to make my photograph fly onto the page. You can see now there's a little number one next to the photograph and over here there's a number one in my animation pane telling me this is the first animation. I'm going to add another animation effect. This time I'm going to do an exit one so I'm going to fly out. You can see I've got a second one on there now. Now if you click on either of these you can see there's a little down arrow. Next to the down arrow I've got various options so I can find out if I want it to start when I click my mouse or if I want it to happen with whatever happened last. So you could have more than one thing going on at the same time. And I've got various other options on there. If I go to my effect options, on this menu here, I can see that I can change the direction. So at the moment it's coming in from the bottom. Perhaps I want it to come in from the left. So I can change it to from the left. And I've got various sliders here that I can change to see how fast it goes and how smoothly it goes and things like that. I can even, if I want to, add sound effects and things to it. I'm not going to at the moment, I'm going to leave it just with on left and I'm going to say OK and that was set, just check again, it was set for on click and my second one here, the way that it leaves is on click again, I'm going to check my options and this time it's going to go out to the bottom um, we'll, we'll leave that and see what it looks like, so we'll say OK now before we do anything else we can just click on preview and see how that looks so there you go, you can see very quickly there, in and out that way I want to see that a little bit more slowly on my preview. I'm just going to change some of these timings here so that uh, it takes a slower effect going on. So we'll go back into my effect and we'll say, um, let's have the timing. So instead of being on very fast, we'll put it on slow. And then we'll do the same thing for the other one. We'll say do this slowly. Effect options, go to the timing change this one, make, maybe we'll make this one medium and see what that looks like. Say OK. I'm just going to save what I'm doing and then we'll preview. So here's my first click. See it coming on very slowly and then going off very slowly. And there you have it. That's how the animation effects work.